Let me get it together. Get it together. This morning, mm, I'm going to have some prune juice. Pure juice. I mean, I guess the brand of Safari, they call it pure juice. Pure prune juice. See, it's a very little bottle. How long is this? How many? How many whatever. I don't know. We don't go by ounces. Whatever. Oh, 250 ml. A milliliters, like you know, a liter is like, ooh, then so two and then half a liter would be there, and then 250 milliliters would be there, you know, or for you people who work in hospitals and sciences and stuff like that, you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so open and these things are always hard to open. So I'm a human being, so what do I do? <laughs> I use my human powers. Open the bottle. I'm sorry, it's like a kid, but you know, I, I traveled one place. I, I couldn't do my nails. Some, some of them with my nails. So what I did, I used to only do half a bottle right away. So what I did, was I just, you know, I cut, I bit them off, and then I used my teeth to, as a file, and it was an all right job. I wouldn't suggest you do it. Anyway, I used to, I got introduced to prune juice, I mean, pure prune juice a long time ago. I was a little bitty baby when I was a kid, when I grew up with my grandmother. But she had this double glass boiler kind of thing. So she would boil the, she would boil the prunes, real prunes, dried, dried prunes, real prunes. And then, you know, the, the juice would come. And so she would give us, you know, we had prunes with sour cream, sour cream and something else. And then, and then, you know, we'd have the juice. So we'd have pure prune, prune juice. And it works differently than, than your regular sugar juice. Well, I said, hmm. Tastes interesting. I, mean, I like prunes. But see, let me, uh, let me share what I mean. Uh, There's a South African product, okay. Where's the ingredients? Where's the ingredients? Oh, here, ingredients. Dried prunes, 50%, right? Remember to say dried prunes. And then, then they, they define dried as prunes, preservatives, or preservatives. Anyway, it's real prunes, okay? Um, and then the next thing it says, some whatever they have in there, then they have water, then enzyme. That's it. Now what this means is that when you get most juice, they say 100% juice, whatever, or from reconstituted, you know, that juice stuff, that stuff comes from, from basically, is if you take um, uh, some, some whatever flavoring, you put, put some water in it, then you freeze it, cut it up, and then later, so basically you're, you're drinking water and basically it's sugar water. But you usually drink with all these drinks and stuff like that. So I prepare myself. I don't, I don't drink prune juice all the time. Okay, it's like every I don't know six weeks, three three to six weeks. Because my my system is the way I eat and everything. I, I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I just do it because I like it and it's really complete. I really know that I've okay. Hmm. We not bring this up anyway. It's because we're in a, like I said we're in a phase. For ADOS, we're in a phase of, um, I would call it, of preparation. We're preparing, and I, I put it like, okay, we have the we have the um, conference at, at Simmons College of Kentucky in October, early October. Um, so, but, so I go back from there. I go back and forth. From there. So, 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 actually, when you go to a, it's a conference. So, when you go to a conference, you're supposed to prepare something for the conference. So what's it? I can start preparing now, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I figure I want to prepare because I'm sitting in South Africa right now, I'm just yapping. I'll just, I'll just, just, by the way, let me just say right up front. I'm not an official of ADOS, yeah, American Descendants of Chattel Slavery. I'm just a little person like everybody else right now, yapping behind behind this, okay? So I'm not a representative. You, you need representation. You need mo I, do, I do marching orders, though. I get my marching orders from Yvette Cornell and Antonio Moore. So you tune into them, and then if I want some really background information, I just go to the Duke website, look at the papers that, you know, blah, 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 blah. So it's out there. So, so, so anyway, so that's not the preparations I'm talking about, even though everybody should be preparing like that. In fact, when you ask somebody, this, they say, well, what do you, if, if you're being supervised or something like that, you say, well, what should I do? Somebody has a question for you, you say, well, let me ask my supervisor. Then you wait for like Monday, you know, well, Monday night or Wednesday night for your vet, and then you wait for, you know, Friday for, 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 for Tone and, and get your marching orders. If you have to send up a little note or question that somebody asks you, then you don't have to answer people right away. Say, let me think about that. You can do that. Anyway, I was thinking of skimming around places to use it. Okay, but I'm saying preparation. So before October, right, I figured since since we wrap ourselves in the American flag, we're American, and here's, a, here's, here's one of my brilliant ideas. Okay, okay, I, okay, I say it's a brilliant. What am I gonna say? Tell you, it's not, not a good idea. Think about this. Anyway, July 4th, 
the, the, the birth of, of United States, the birth of United States. Now, one of the speeches that, that everybody, certainly if you're ADS, you should know this speech, the Frederick Douglass speech about Fourth July 4th, right? Why I don't, why I don't, why I don't, don't rejoice, whatever, in, in the 4th of July? Well, that's a demarcation. So we're, we're just saying, yeah, we're Americans, you know. These other Americans, they ain't real Americans. Let me tell you something. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I, just, just follow me on this. You know, the, one of the most strategic things that was really done wrong, that we did wrong, was let, allow the Republicans or that ilk to wrap themselves in the American flag. And no matter what they say, American, American, American. And everybody says, and, 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 you know, because we went through such trauma, we wouldn't claim American flag. That's not part of us. No, they're not true Americans. If you built a country, then you're more true than they are. So if they wrap themselves in the flag, they wrap themselves, in, they may have wrapped themselves in a flag when it's like, you know, what, 48 states. You know, we was wrapping ourselves in a flag when it was 13. <laughs> you know it's like, which, which flag do you want to use? <laughs> that would be a good, a good thing. If you could tell when, when, when you actually landed on this floor. So get, no, 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 let me, let me not go off. Anyway, so Frederick does his day of speech, blah, blah, blah. So I think that for this, for this 4th, of, 4th of July, you know, 2019, we should, everybody, ADOs, we should have get a little, uh, a little thing, either you, well, read the Douglas speech, have a little twist on the speech. Why I'm ADO? Okay, here's the essay for, or the, the, the writing. The writing for July 4th, 2019. Why I'm ADOS. <laughs> I don't know what, I just threw that out there. They always do that stuff. But figure out what you want to write. So, but so between now and then, now and July 4th, because then between July 4th and October, you're supposed to be diligently writing, what are concentrating on just ADO stuff and not worrying about what people are saying about us, or what, or what didn't happen, what happened or didn't happen, because you're planning for what's going to happen after the you see, after the conference, okay? So between now and, 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 and July 4th, now now here's where you have fun with all the, all the what, what, what nearly full of June calls the, 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 the shadow boxing, the, the shadow boxers. You know, people have put up a shadows, you know, to front for, uh, for, for the, um, the people who want to distract, the front for uh, the, the, well, the Anglo racist white supremacy, whoever, whoever, whoever embraces that system, Anglo racist white supremacy, or that, that system of white, racist white supremacy, or that system of white supremacy, those people are going to come. Uh, they're already here. You know, and they're the shadows that they're, they're they're trying to do the shadows, so we box at the shadows. But no, no, we don't have to do that. Leave them shadows alone. Leave them shadows alone. Because right now you have to prepare your body. Okay, you're not just gonna get. You don't want to just fight these people by just, but not you know, not doing the jump rope and the, and, and the miles in the morning and you know and the conditioning and stuff like that. You don't want to do that right now. You have to prepare for them. You know. So as you prepare, they are sparring partners. As you prepare for the for the for the main bout when when the white supremacist has to come from behind his shadow and come up, then you got a real, real fight. Well, now you got to prepare yourself. Right, get your body straight. So you got to flush your system with, you know, with herbs and, and pure prune juice. You know, mm. say that fast. Pure prune juice. Pure prune juice. That's what you're doing. You know. Also, you got to start cleansing yourself. Dr. Savy. I hung with Dr. Savy for a while in the eighties, uh, eighteen nineties. Dr. Sabi, think about it. You know what I mean? Well, what did he say? Mucus. Don't have the mucus in your system. You have to these foods that get rid of mucus. You should be dealing with that. Um, don't load up so much on the meat. Okay. Everybody tells you at least do meat once a week. Okay. I know you can't do that. You know. Let's do meat three times a week. Oh, okay. I can't do that. Do meat. Try five times a week, but then start cutting down. You know, do, do the red meat. That maybe you might do a, a liver here. You know, liver, livers, onions, and stuff. Really good. Yeah, still don't give up your hand shit, whatever you're going to do. Right? But just keep on trying to cut it down all the way until J July 4th when you got to deliver this, you know, start your writings, right? So you're, you're getting yourself you know, health wise, you know, and then you, you, it's a time for change. You're, pre you're preparing for the battle. Let's put it that way. You're preparing for the fight. You're a heavyweight boxer. You know, Anthony Joshua, Muhammad Ali, you know, the, you're preparing for, you know, Thomas Hearns, you're preparing for, whatever. The point is, you're preparing for the fight. You have to prepare. You're preparing for 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 the season. I bet you, if we do, you do a football analysis, are we we're back to watching football. Yeah, Colin Colin did something, so I guess we're back to watching. It's going to be a really good season. Anyway, you're, you're the Browns, so the, you know who, who else is out there? You know the the, the, the Chiefs, the the, the the I don't know the, the Chargers, the Oakland, uh, whatever. You know, and you know the Saints are going to look at me. Okay, the point is. 
now is the time for preparation. Mentally you prepare, start studying this, listen, make sure you get your, your habit of listening to Yvette and, 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 and Tone, uh, and, and just you know, look out there and to other people, the ADOs, look up with other ADOs people that are, now is the time to do it. So you're preparing for that. So then we have, so, so from between now and then, we, we get ready, we do your shadow boxing, because you're practicing, then from July, July 4th until the conference, you're gonna deal with some real stuff, ignore everything, then from the, then we'll get our march out, our, our, Continued marching orders, or, or, or um, uh, we'll meet other people on the conference. So they, now we now we get intense. From then until the first prime, to the first actually the Iowa primaries, which should be in December, late December, or whatever, whatever. So between uh, October and December, that's when it gets super political. That's when you should be you should be um, associating yourself with some sort of candidate. We've weeded out the candidates. So I want to say not just the, the big time candidates, but in your local area, if you have somebody that you, you can run for Congress, whatever it is, you should be. If we should be involved with that, ADOs everywhere. Every deal is everywhere. Communication system, everything like like that. So between um, so between us, um, that October and that first primary, whenever it's Iowa caucuses, whatever have you, that's a that's a, a certain phase. But you can extend that phase right up into the South Carolina primaries, which is going to be our most important one. Because that's the first indicator of what black people are going to be doing, you know, or ATOS is going to be doing. So somewhere in there, so that, you see, and then it goes on from there. Then, then, then it's on. Everybody in their little areas, da 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 da. Okay, so that's the way, that's the little, you know, suggestion, you know, for today. Suggestion from me, T, from the Patterson's Taking the Train to Tibet. Letting you know what I only suspect from ADES, that would be right here, of the American descendants of chattel slavery. Just letting you know. I'm only, you know, letting you know.